So, I'm going to be honest with you. I hate Lion King one and a half. Just outright hate it. Do I think there's some good parts in it? Ah, oh, maybe, you know. There are some. The animation's pretty good. Uh, sometimes Timon and Puma's part could get me to laugh. But the idea of a sequel or prequel or I don't even know what this is. Is there a word or term for this? Leave it in the comments what exactly this is supposed to be. Um, but my main problem with it is that it systematically destroys the first film. Okay, like all those big, epic, awesomely done moments in the first film. It just completely shits on them. And and sometimes it works. Like, I thought the scene where it was them that actually caused all the animals to collapse during I Can't Just Wait to Be King. I thought that was, that was pretty good. But the idea they walked in on Scar and the hyenas singing about taking over the Pride Lands and decided not to do anything about it. That doesn't just ruin that moment of Scar's song, but it ruins Timon and Puma's characters as, yeah, we know this guy's kind of plotting to kill somebody, but let's just not do anything about it. Really? And I will... I just, I can't stand this movie. Does that mean this is going to be more than a rant, more of a rant than a review? Probably. That doesn't mean I'm not going to say there's good stuff in it. As I already said, the animation's very well done. And I'll tell you, it's a lot better animation than Simba's Pride. Lion King 2. And why? Why did you give more attention to Timon and Puma destroying... The Lion King, then Simba's daughter, and Kohu, Scar's chosen heir, remaking Romeo and Juliet. Like seriously, I don't, I don't understand that. <sighs> the stuff with Simba and the jungle with them and his progress of growing up instead of just a long walk on a log I I guess yeah that was actually really good um Timon staying behind instead of leaving to go help Simba immediately that was unforgivable in my opinion like that's that's not something I think Timon would have done or should have done uh, Timon's relatives are just flat out annoying but I do like the whole like Rafiki getting like the crap out of my bones mom like you gave him a metaphor He'll take it literally. <laughs> um, so there are some enjoyable parts, but there's also a lot of really terrible parts. Um, I do like the stuff with, like I said, Simba in the jungle, but the whole tunnels to dis defeat the hyenas thing like, that's what the lionesses were for, was to fight the hyenas. Timon and Puma were just supposed to distract them so that Simba could get to, well, you know, scar and kill him. But, so, yeah, um, it does have some semi-good music, but as far as Disney standards go, and even Disney directed DVD sequels, and prequels and stuff go, I guess. I'm gonna call this a prequel, but I know it's not technically a prequel. Um, but 
the music just isn't up to par with a lot of Disney stuff. Uh, there's not really all that many songs, like characters singing songs and stuff. Uh, uh, Timon gets one song, I think. I'm, not, I'm trying to remember, but it was at the beginning of the movie. Anyway, uh, Timon and Puma watching the movie in the movie theater I thought was kind of cool, but also at the same time, like, why are they? Like, there's no build up to this. Like, do they watch The Lion King all the time or something? <laughs> Uh, oh, yeah, this, this is definitely not Disney at its best, but even though I can't stand this movie on a lot of levels, I will certainly say it's not Disney at their worst either. It's kind of in between the two, um, so I guess... I've been ranting about this for over six minutes now, probably. Uh, yeah. I guess the animation was good. Some of the characters were okay. Uh, I wish Freaky was in it more, but that's probably just me. The whole Timon and Puma trying to sabotage Noah and Simba hooking up thing was, I think, that was actually pretty good and well handled. Uh,. I'm drinking coffee. It's three o'clock in the morning. <laughs> anyway, um, so I guess I should rate this before I get and like I get in like a tangent on someone, something else, or another character, or whatever. But in all honesty, it's. I don't know, I'd say a 3 out of 5, kind of, but then I'm going to say it's like a 2.5 out of 5. It's thumbs up. That was, that was the rating. It's uh, between a 2.5 and a 3. Uh, I don't know, I guess I could go 3.5 too. For, I mean, it's average at best, and at worst, it's extremely below average, but it's not a terrible movie. Um, if you have a desire to see Simone and Puma absolutely mock and make fun of one of the greatest Disney movies ever made, then yeah, this is it for you for some reason. I don't know why you're looking for that in a movie. Seriously, though. <laughs> but, um, yeah. It's average at best, and if you're me and you're a big Lion King fan, it's it's a struggle to watch some parts and scenes, and then it's like real hilarious to watch others. Uh, so, yeah, that's my review of this. Now I just gotta finish the Balto sequels. Now we gotta start the Balto sequels. Oh God. I might need something stronger than coffee.